All right, so how then? The next question is to identify which is licensed and which is certified, and what is the difference between a licensed financial planner and a certified. Now, I'm going to focus on licensed financial planner first because the one who's going to be able to draw up a full fledged financial plan is one who is licensed by Securities Commission. And once they are licensed, you will see CMSRL with a range of numbers XXXX. This is where the numbers are certified. To be. Look for it in the name card. If they don't have, ask them to show you. Once they show you, then they are allowed to carry the designation of a licensed financial planner. What can they do? They can provide you train, they can provide training, they can write articles on financial planning, they can do coaching, counseling, and guiding clients in their financial life, or they can draw up personal financial plans, as I've shown you just now, and sign off the plan and advise clients. Now, advice will come after a plan is done. Now, then again, the next question you ask, then what is a certified financial planner? A certified financial planner is someone who has studied how to write a financial plan and they have passed the exam. So they are qualified but not necessarily licensed. Whereas if you are looking for a, finance, a good financial planner, you will find someone who is qualified and licensed. All right. Now, qualified, they have knowledge and they have competency. There are people unit trust consultants, insurance agents who have the qualification but they do not practice, they do not have the license. They are only licensed to do either insurance or unit trust or even PRS, private retirement scheme. So let's go look a little bit further on what a certified financial plan planner can do. They can provide general training on financial planning. They can write articles on financial planning topics. Uh, but they cannot advise, neither can they plan for an individual. So if a professional, uh, if a financial professional approaches you and tells you that they have the qualification but no license, they cannot do financial plan for you. Now, an example of a, of a uh, qualification will be the CFP mark and the IFP which I showed you earlier. All right. Now, be very careful and understand this. Um, in 2014, the regulators, Bank Negara and Securities Commission, uh, decided to uh, relax the requirement for a person to be licensed. So today, a person may not have completed, they may not be fully certified, but they can still take up license as long as they have complied with certain modules of the, of the exam. My, my recommendation to you, if you are going to do full-fledged financial planning to plan your whole life, then you will want to look for a licensed financial planner who is fully qualified. All right? Ask. If they can't answer you, chances are they don't have. Move on. Go to the next one. Now, these are common types of financial planning and advice, advisory professionals. And this is where I want to be able to differentiate for you the difference between a financial planner and a financial advisor. From the regulator viewpoint, the licensed financial planner is licensed by Securities Commission. This is the role that they will want to play. All right. And they are they they, they stand on the side of the consumer because the client is you, the man on the street. Now, what does a financial advisor do? A financial advisor, they find in Bank Negara's uh, terminology, a financial advisor is not a person, but a company that holds a license or a, is approved by Bank Negara. Today, Bank Negara do not license them, they approve them. So, financial advisors are companies approved by Bank Negara to provide financial advisory services. And the people who sign up under those firms are called financial advisor representatives and they are the ones who are going to provide you with a service. And what is this service? Financial advisory service on services on insurance products and other services related to financial advisory business based on your financial needs and circumstances. All right. Now, both licensed financial planners and advisors are independent. The only difference between the both is the 
in Malaysia, financial advisors um, they can advise you on a wide range of insurance products or Takafu plans from various insurance companies or Takafu operators, and they represent the consumers. Let's look at um, let's look at common types of financial professionals then. So just now you saw the financial planning professionals, which is the financial planner and the advisor, and there is a difference in the service that provide. One can sign up a financial plan, the other one will focus on the full range of insurance products and insurance as well as any financial services that's related to insurance. I hope you're clear. Ask me questions if you're not after this. Next, let's look at unit trust consultants and private retirement scheme consultants. These are the people who are registered with the Federation of Investment Managers Malaysia. The unit trust consultants can focus on unit trust only and the private retirement scheme consultants on private retirement scheme products to help you in your retirement. It is very common to see a unit trust consultant holding a PRS consultant uh, qu uh, qualification and vice versa as well. If they are registered for both, they can do both. All right. So who do they represent? Now, unit trust consultants and private retirement scheme consultants, they are agents of a company. And the company is normally either a fund management, uh, a fund manage, fund management company or a unit trust management company. So they're tied to one company. All right. So they tend to stand on the side of the company. Now, there are wealth managers and financial consultants. These are people who are employed in the banks. They recommend financial products that are banking products, more based on banking products, credit cards, bank loans, deposits. Some uh, wealth managers do also uh, recommend um, investment products as well. Things like um, unit trust, shares, derivatives. But for that, they have to take uh, the separate license for it as well. So banks are licensed and regulated by Bank Negara and who are they, uh, sorry, who are they tied to? They will be tied to the companies as well. That's the banks they are working for and the financial institutions. Last but not least, you have the insurance or Takafu agents. They are, they, what they do is they represent the principal insurance company of Takafu operator and they will sell insurance products and Takafu plans, which are uh, marketed by the company they are tied to. And who are they regulated by? The general insurance agents will be by PIAM, Persatuan, Institu uh, Persatuan Insurance Arm Malaysia, or LIAM, Life Insurance, uh, uh, Life insurance Association of Malaysia. For those who are Takafu agents, they will be then regulated by the Malaysian Takafu Association. So, who do they uh, represent? They tend to represent the company or the, the, yeah, the company that they are tied to.